International experts working to counter the threat of chemical and explosive terrorism gathered at Interpol's General Secretariat headquarters for the first ever Global Congress on Chemical Security and Emerging Threats to develop a comprehensive network to improve global chemical safety and security. Bringing together some 200 delegates from nearly 40 countries, the Congress formed part of efforts by Interpol's CBRNE program to help address the global threat landscape through multi-agency collaboration. For us at Interpol, this Congress comes at a pivotal time. Our member countries are experiencing incidents of chemical and explosive terrorism at an alarming rate. We continue to bear witness to the detrimental impacts caused by these acts of terrorism on civilian populations and the rule of law. Already the international community has moved to ban the use of chemical warfare agents. However, as many of us will be aware, non-state actors do not abide by international conventions nor norms of conduct. And it's here we need to focus our attention and this event provides us with a unique opportunity to do so. Terrorists and other adversaries uh, continue to seek out, to acquire and to use in attacks uh, chemicals that are used in everyday, everyday life. And you know, we need to ensure that we are able to build capacity around the world to, um, to grow security culture and to safeguard uh, those chemicals to the greatest extent that we can. The three-day conference explored specialized case studies highlighting emerging trends, identified lessons learned and best practices relating to chemical incident attribution and response, and evolving technologies and tactics. We're working to build a chemical security community of practice that transcends borders, sectors and institutions. We're working to close the coordination gap and break down the professional silos that are all too common in today's global security architecture. Organized by Interpol, the US Department of Homeland Security and the US Federal Bureau of Investigation in coordination with the G7 partnership against the spread of weapons and materials of mass destruction, all partners emphasized how no single country or industry is immune to terrorism, nor can either effectively deal with chemical weapons and terrorism alone. Cooperation between all related stakeholders is required, including law enforcement, governments, industry, academia and scientific institutions using a whole of society approach. This is very important for enhancing our relationships. Right now we're at a critical time uh, within chemical security because the norms against the use of chemicals have been used uh, has, has been is really degraded. And so it's a time where we need to bring people together to get everybody's eye on the ball and there's no other organization that can do that, particularly in law enforcement like Interpol. So you bring together the, the medical communities, the law enforcement communities, the scientific communities and I think by us all coming together and looking at that and then raising awareness in, our relative, in each of our governments that, uh, that we can make some progress on this issue.